right, I'm here now with three-time national champion and one of the top three ranked pool players in the world, Max Everly, who's going to talk to us a little bit about how to play pool. Uh, Max, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you, Leah. What exactly is the training process to get to a professional level? A lot of drills. I mean, first you learn the basics. You fall in love with the game. People call it an addiction. It's like worse than any drug you could get addicted to. You know, I used to play like 12 hours a day wow. in the summertime when I wasn't, you know, at school. I know you're like the house instructor at Hollywood Billiards in Hollywood, California. When someone needs an instructor, mm -hmm. then they'll give me a call. Kind of a thrill to work with Michael Jordan in his Haynes commercial where he was playing pool with Matthew Perry. All right, so before you actually start playing the game, it's a good idea to know how to pick a cue stick. Yeah. So what what do I need to keep in mind when I when I pick one of these out? All right, what you want to do is the first thing, you go up and you look at the tips. Of course, this one right here doesn't, not look doesn't have a tip. Okay, this one right here, this is a mushroom tip. See how it's kind of overhanging around the white oh, part yeah. of the ferrule? Okay, so once you have couple options, then you want to find one that's not too crooked. Okay. That's where you take them over to the table, and then you roll it on the table, like that. Oh, oh yeah, look at that, big wobble. That's not good. Yeah. Okay. But I would actually take that cue over any of these because of the tip, and I would just turn it so it's kind of the same curve. So you can compensate for the fact that it's wobbly, Yeah. but, but as long as it has a good tip on it. Yeah, if you have to. If you have to. I think that's the one. Looks Here great. we go. Got your weapon now. Got my weapon. The next step after picking your cue stick is chalking it. What I, I grab, grab it with these two fingers, the cue. Okay. And then control it with these three. Okay. Turn the cue with the left hand around to the left and then across to the right. Well, most people, they'll, just, they'll do this. This is a brand new chalk. Okay. But a lot of times you'll find them where they have a, a bowled out middle. People stick it all the way in there and just twist it around. All that really does is rub the chalk off of the tip. Oh, okay. And it makes a line around the ferrule. And try that? And do that, yeah. Okay, so hold with these three, this here? Yeah. There you go, you yeah. can hear it, you'll be able to hear it wiping off on the tip. Okay. Okay. Um, I used to do it, my grandpa told me not to do that because it oh. puts moisture on the tip. <laughs> okay. So we'll just re chalk so it wait, again. Wait, yeah, re chalk it. And then you'll have some chalk overhanging on the edges. Right. You can just, ah. you just kind of wipe it off. All right. Or do one of these and the excess might fall off. Okay. But don't do this. Don't like whap it on the <laughs> table. Okay. You're going to put dents in your cue and you don't want that. It's going to bug you. Okay, next would be to rack the balls. We're playing eight ball. The legal way is a solid on one corner, a stripe on the other corner, eight ball in the middle. Then you just kind of mix them up randomly. Okay, so you just start out by, by giving it a shot. See where, put your fingers back here and you squeeze up here. And what you want to do is you want to line up the cue ball with the one ball before you get down into your stance. Okay. So aim while you're standing, Yeah. not when you're down in the position ready to... Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's huge. It's like you can learn that one thing in pool today, it's going to change your whole, your whole game. After learning how to break like a pro, Max critiqued my form and showed me how to properly create both an open hand bridge and a closed hand bridge. Personally, I like the open hand bridge technique myself. Max then set me up for a few trick shots to impress my friends. But as you can see, I still need a lot more practice. I'm just glad there was no money on the table. Let's hear a few more tips from the expert. Okay, the big, one of the uh, biggest mistakes that players will make is to get down in their stance before they've actually found their stroking line. And now they're going to adjust, try to adjust, move over in their balance and all this stuff. So the idea is to find that line with your eyes, get control of your cue, and then drop right in on your line. So if you do it right, you can actually close your eyes once you're down there. Right? Basically, this is the draw shot. It comes up all the time where you want to hit the object ball in the pocket and make the cue ball come backwards to set up for your next shot, which in, in this case is the eight ball. So this is my strike. It's my last ball before the eight ball. 
and it's going to be hard if I just stop it there. So I want to draw the cue ball backwards. So I'm going to hit the ball low. And follow through with that. We'll have a spin on the cue ball to make it come back. Uh, yeah, we have the cue balls a lot farther from the object ball. But we still want to be able to stop the cue ball. Okay, it stopped. It had a little spin, but it still stopped. What I'm doing is I'm actually putting back spin on the ball. And I'm going to hit the, hit the cue ball low with a nice follow through. It's going to spin backwards all the way into the pocket. The back spin, the friction on the cloth is going to stop the ball from spinning backwards. It's going to slide for a few inches. And then it's going to start rolling forward. If you can time it so the cue ball is sliding at the exact moment of contact, then the cue ball is going to stop right there. All right, well, obviously you can't learn everything about pool in just five minutes. So to learn more, pick up a copy of Max's book, Zen Pool. Max, it was great working with you today. Thanks, Leah. I had a blast. Thank you. All right, that's it for Mahalo Daily. I'm Leah D'Amelio. We'll see you next time.